What's up, Fool Podcast? What's up, Fool Podcast? Welcome to the What's Up, Fool Podcast. We're here every week, live now on YouTube.com slash ATC. If you're watching this live or listening live on YouTube.com, what's up, Fool? We got Rodrigo Torres right here. Welcome, Rodrigo Torres. Yeah, man. What's happening, everybody? Lisa Esparza right here. Hello. What's up, fool? First of all, man, I just want to say thank you, everybody, for listening. And this, I'm going to be, let's do the dates. Yeah. December 7th through the 9th, I'll be at the Tempe Improv in Tempe, Arizona, December 7th, 8th, and 9th. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And those shows are almost, well, there's about three quarters sold, all those shows. So they're going to sell out before the weekend. So there you go. Hurry up, people. Hurry up. We ain't that in shows, probably. <laughs> Ontario, California. This show, man, you better, you, you just gotta find a scalper now. <laughs> Ontario Improv, December twenty seventh through the thirtieth. I think Thursday we added there's a, still a lot of tickets because <clears throat> we just added that show. But Sunday was almost sold out. Friday and Saturday there's like ten, twenty tickets each show. So Sunday those are one be, show. Sunday one show so far. So if, if you have a girlfriend or a wife and it's her birthday, and you're trying to surprise her by taking her over there and making her stand in, a, in line for one hour <laughs> and then buying a ticket for a comedy show, it ain't gonna happen. It's gonna be sold out. But let me tell you where that, that could have happened. That could have happened any time in Toledo or Stress Factory. Oh, going up to the door? Day or, of, yeah. Or last week at the Funny Bone. <laughs> at the, where was that? At the Buffalo. Buffalo, Helium. Helium Buffalo. That place, man, you could have walked in there 30 minutes into the show with 30 people and I would appreciate it. What's up, fool? So get those tickets, man. Don't delay. Also, December 31st, New Year's Eve, Denver, Colorado, Paramount Theater. Be there, people. Get those tickets. We're trying to move them fast. So if you know people in the area who are not on Facebook, who are not on no social media, and they know who I am, let them know. Shout out the window. Shout out the window, <laughs> man. Yell it out. <laughs> And if you could do that, I appreciate it. I'm, I'm pretty sure, man. If 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 I see you on Instagram telling people, "Hey, Felipe Spars is gonna be in Denver," you better go, or you make up your own, you start promoting your by yourself, man. You know what? Man? We, we could kick it. <laughs> Bridgeport, Connecticut. What's up, fool? Bridgeport. I'll be at the Bridgeport, Connecticut Stress Factory, January third through the fifth. How cold is it gonna be in Connecticut? Or <laughs> Not cold enough. Oh, it's gonna be bad. You're gonna be right by the water. You think it's gonna be colder than Buffalo or Toledo? Were you, I were don't you by the know. water in Buffalo? You're by the water in Toledo, though. It yeah. was cold in yeah. Toledo. It was right? cold, it's gonna be about. Man. It's gonna be like that because it felt it's, colder than Buffalo. It's gonna yeah, because you're gonna be by the water in Connecticut. That windshield factor. It's it comes right off the water. It's fucking cold. January 26th, I'm coming to Turlock, California. Don't ask me where that is. I thought it was in Iraq. It's by a prison, I think. It's above Sacramento or below? Below something. It's above Sacramento to the right, right and to the east. I bet you there'll be a Turlock gang there. Where are you from? Puro Turlacchio. Turlock 13? I think Turlock's going to sell out before it comes. Before Turlock it 14. <laughs> well, surprisingly, a lot of people who live in that area. Grips. They want to laugh. Shout out to this hat. And Rodrigo's new hat. Yeah, man. Had to get some headgear in Buffalo. It was cold we, out We there. lucked out, man. Um, we're, our hotel room was next to the new era store. I don't think they have a new era store out here, or do they? I've never seen one. That it's was lids, a, right? Yeah, that was the headquarters of New Yeah, era. so it's all lids. Over here we have lids, and you buy hats, at least, you know, like baseball hats. I'm familiar with lids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and know these hats, right? And you put them through the back. And yeah. people wear hats. You'll bet you, wear, you wear many hats, you know, in your job. Well, that's the Norm McDonald bro, interviewing, interviewing David Spade, dog. I couldn't stop fucking laughing, bro. Oh, oh did you watch it? Oh, the, my I God. I it. died. I've been wanting to watch it. Norm McDonald goes, show. hey, so I heard you started your first your first show. You started off at a place over in Arizona called Greasy Tony's. And I, I died because that's... He's just doing, like, these generic yes. questions oh, like he God. doesn't know him. He, yes, man. And it's he does it like... I think this is what he always wanted to do. I love Norm to be, he, It sounds like... Um, Almost Letterman being mm -hmm. silly, but to the to the third power, man. But it, man, he ends up with five. 
He gives uh, David Spade three goofy ass jokes to say. I ain't gonna say this. <laughs> say it, it's fun. You know, you can you can throw it into your act. You're working on stuff, right? You're working on something new. You have it, huh? You know, it's a, it's 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 a new act. You know, it's a it's a hook. It's a hook. You know, <laughs> and then the, his 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 um his his partner gets thrown off. But when he say he goes like, oh, you, and then he tries to like add stuff like, oh, and then like. Oh, you mean Greasy Tony? That used to be a sandwich shop right across the street from Tempe Improv. <laughs> and I died because Lord McDonald was the eater all fucked up back in the days when he was doing uh, the improv. And then they didn't get a sandwich, you know? Like that, dude. He was just. And then uh, he had like cards. He was just reading them off the cards. He goes, Should I ask you this question or this one? Which one would I ask you? <laughs> Greasy Tony's ain't around anymore, right? Hell no. This place was bomb. The secret was the grease. Yeah, man. Greasy there was a shit picture of Joe Diaz out there with a big sandwich, bro. Right, bro. What's up, boo? So, up, yeah, man? man. So, that's what we're talking about. We went to the New Era place, and they had, like, so many hats. Like, uh, Dodger hats that I haven't seen. Like, real good Dodger hats. One of them was real big, and they had the, um, it felt like um, fur. Cherry skin. Cherry cloth. The, uh, a big LA. What it was made out of? Yeah, the no. cloth logo. Would you th- did you see any hats that you like? I like that one that looked like a belt buckle. That was cool. That LA uh, uh, Dodger one. Oh yes, that was a great hat, Lisa. There was a Dodger hat and it had an LA logo right here, mm-hmm. kind of like the one that um, PK, PK gave, gave me. You. Yeah, but it was a bigger it was LA. Yes, yeah. it was yeah. a batter one. And it was gold. What did we do with those? Like we had a it's, silver it's, one it's and in a the gold closet. One. It's in the in the garage. I saw it. But that that hat, man, you could wear the whole plate and psych up the the, <laughs> the uh, pony picture with the, with, with the glare. Go, hey. <laughs> Probably. So we were in Buffalo. We get there and it's cold. No, not that cold, but it starts snowing. The next day, Fargo. It was all all white. I didn't think. I thought the city was gonna shut down. No, no they're they're pe- they're prepared. They're for ready, that. man. A small blanket of snow. But th- that they're, kind of stuff will kill Addis, will kill Dallas. Yeah, because they're not used to having snow like that. But It'll kill Buffalo Compton. is. I was so nervous for you guys because Buffalo is you always. You see snow, right, Rodrigo? It's like formation. I'm, I've been uh, to Chicago in the yeah. January and February. Yeah, like the like Buffalo. When I lived in New York, like we got you know snow and it was nasty. You have to you know slush it. And I grew up in Ohio and Colorado, a ton of snow. But Buffalo is traditionally like the first place to get hit every year by some nor'easter. And it's like 12, 18 inches of snow, something ridiculous. And I was just afraid. I was crossing my fingers all weekend that you guys weren't going to be snowed in. Our, our flight was um, done in, in, um, for, um, for New Jersey. Our flight to land, there, over, to there, land yeah. over there, yeah. In Newark? Yeah. Newark. Rerouted us you know to Chicago. You know what's funny is it, on my tracker, it still acted like it was taken off. And it landed and everything. And I knew you had gotten rerouted, so I'm tracking both flights. Yeah, Toby had the news all, like, instantaneously. What's yeah, and I even went up onto uh, United Airlines' website and nothing. Like, I thought it was just the tracker wasn't showing it, but United didn't show it. Whatever. But we made it. You I'm so glad it. we made it. I know, man. I'm glad uh, you were going a day early. And we still made it. It's funny. We still made it, like, on time for our plane. Yeah. Well, of course, because they changed our plane. Yeah. And this There's morning when we flew out... To home we, we it took a while we still get there too early right we got to la too early 20 minutes i know that's a problem you guys get there too early gotta and then the more. luggage you gotta wait for the, that for took forever i know oh man um this this photo went viral i think this guy was arrested and um, lisa sh- 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 we were talking about it on the phone on friday night for what this guy with a big old neck oh yeah that photo that photo that went viral and everybody switching yeah. it on him I thought it was Chris Paul angry, bro. I think it's I think it's photoshopped first of yeah. all. There's a, there's a video of him on yeah. Facebook, yeah. And it's big uh, like that. I, I'll, I'll tag you guys in yeah, if let I me see, see it, it again. It's pre- it's it, it looks awkward, but it's it's real. But the original photo, the people commenting on it when we were reading it before you left for Buffalo, right? Yeah, some of the p- these comments are amazing. It's like, like this person, like these people aren't even comedians, but they write a comment or they know how to bag on yeah. somebody. They know how to roast people, bro. <laughs> right. This co- this comment this guy wrote was so funny it had 45,000 likes yeah internet is a savage that was funny he, he I think was my sad. favorite one is he could eat three Popeye's biscuits or 
could eat Popeye's biscuits with no drink or something with no like water. that. <laughs> you know, that fool, that fool's nigga so strong he could he could drink peanut butter. <laughs> drink peanut That's butter. Hilarious. That was a good one. There were a ton of bags, man. They were we were dying. He goes, man, welcome to the next episode. Next episode. <laughs> But everybody was, everybody's doing it still, but all those comments were already, done. Are, already they're done. They're already done. The first one it were passed. the ones that were so funny. Yeah, it passed. <laughs> and Tom Segura posted, um, Christina P, she posted a photo of um, Tom Segura wearing, wearing a jersey, right? A football jersey <clears throat> and sandals and, and sunglasses. He's wearing like a flannel. A flannel. Yeah. Like and a hunting jacket or and something. And then she had said something about what he is, this and that, and everybody writing their own comment. Shit, my comment got 700 likes. <laughs> was like Florida style right there, huh? I said he looked like a gang, a gang, in, a, a gang and drug intervention counselor. <laughs> I didn't, I never seen the photo. Actually, bro, you know who the right but nobody knows who he is. I was like, yeah, man, he looked like a really young Peter Murrieta. <laughs> yeah, nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> he's a Boston fan now, huh? It was all LA through the year. They won and he just switched over. Huh? I don't like switched? These, switched I don't governments. Like these people that, that, um, that's, they started off as a certain thing, and then little by little, they start wearing a different hat, and finally they start wearing the winner's hat. You got to roll with the winner, man. Kept it Hollywood like a motherfucker. But yeah, he likes baseball. Oh, you know, that, that's I, the excuse for people switch over. Of hats. He does love baseball, everything. His son plays baseball. Yeah, whenever his, used to if coach his, him. If his son becomes a major leaguer, he's going to be that. That's going to be his favorite team, you know, wherever that ends up. Where's he playing in Kansas City? Is that where he goes to college? I don't know. Ohio? Somewhere like that. What's up, fool? Chilling Rodrigo up. Toy right here, what man. Up, what are you wearing, bro? Me? A sweater. Oh, you know that. Oh, but okay. What up? The logo, fool. 5150. That's Corey Holcomb's internet show. You got it off the internet? Oh, uh, yeah. I bought it off the internet. But um, what, what, the other last, I didn't know Corey Holcomb had. Merchandise. Uh, Corey Holcomb doesn't seem like the guy that has merch, but do they have a lot of merch? Yeah. And merchandise for chicks. What do they have? Hats. Um, he has this one. He has a couple other T-shirts. It's about that. Yeah. They, oh, and he had his uh, his special on a little necklace, dude. You just download that shit. That's talk about that. That was cool. That was bad as fuck. It's like a thumb little, drive. Yeah, that's what he's. But it's like on like one of those like old school. Like, you have it right. Army uh, little. What are the like one a dog those? Tech? Yeah. You have it, don't you? One. Yeah, I got it. And you guys should play it. I put. I put, I, I watch it, but I mean, I just have it like collector's item style. I mean, I'm a Corey, Corey Holcomb fan, so you know. Yeah, he couldn't get distribution for that special. It's just like, <laughs> like the funniest it's a man fucking on, sin. The funniest man on the planet. It's a sin. Shout out to Joey Coco Diaz. Um, his, we talked. We, we didn't really talk about it the last time, but um, his show. We weren't sure we were allowed to. We weren't sure talk about it, but now it's on the on the. It's in the trades now. In the so. trades, what, what happened, Lisa? Well, Fox um, picked up. Well, they didn't pick it up. They are developing a sitcom uh, with him and Three Arts. And I forget the production company. Is that who he's with? He's with Three Arts? He's with Three Arts Management. Um, but it's not Dave Becky. It's that guy, Josh. There's two writers, right, on that thing? I'm or not what? sure who's writing on it. I haven't seen who the showrunner is. But um, that's going to be a mixture of flashbacks, him as an older guy now with his daughter and trying to give her, like, old school wisdom and stuff. So right now, they're in, I don't know what kind of deal it was because it didn't mention it in the article. But um, he now is the process where they start to write the script. And then by January, you should know, really after the holidays, you should know if the network's going to say yes to it or not as a pilot to shoot it. Are you excited, Joe Diaz? And then if it gets Brown, shot as a I'm pilot. I'm fucking <laughs> amazed that they bought it. You know what I'm and then if it gets shot as a pilot, <laughs> there's, they still have to say yes to ordering episodes. So it's a sev it's several steps of the process, and it's lengthy and it's frustrating. That's badass, man. But yeah, it's great. If if anybody deserves it, it's Joey. That's right. Yeah. I've been sitting out here with the wolves. <laughs> decades. He told me two years ago, I'm a broken man. I'm a broken man. I'm a broken man. He's That's fucking awesome, dude. It is. Joey yeah, man. Is the fire, is comic, still, the fire is still going on, man. This, which remind me of um, Alonzo Bowden's joke when I first started doing stand-up comedy. There was fires, I guess, back in 1995. He goes, yeah, there's a lot of fires in Thousand Oaks. They're going to change the town to a couple of oaks. <laughs> Shout out to Alonzo Bowden. I died. That's fucking hysterical, dog. I didn't know that was an Alonzo Bowden joke. Yeah, man. What's up, fool? 
I don't know what is it. I thought it was a watch. So we have no guest today. You are the guest. I'm not the guest. Let's talk about your shirt. Mm. <laughs> What's wrong with my What'd shirt? What you get it at? This is my dog hair shirt. We had a dog. Yes, we um, we have a new dog, people. What's up? Shout out to Squishy. It's a she? La Squisha. She. Squishita. <laughs> She's probably shitting on our floor right now. You think so? No, I don't think so. Where'd you so guys you uh, link up with her at? Uh, Love Leo Rescue is a page we follow on Instagram and they help out. They're kind of, they have a rescue facility, but they also are a liaison for people who work at shelters and volunteer at shelters who give them a heads up when somebody comes in that's a really bad case that might not get adopted easily, might get killed Damn. if it's a kill shelter. So they notify this page and then they kind of put out the call for, hey, there's this dog that needs a foster or an adoptive family. So um, she came in, I guess about 15 days ago, 16 15 days, days ago. ago. Yeah, she was in the shelter for 13 days. Um, but she was in bad shape. She's old, for one. She's kind of going blind a little bit, they think. Uh, she's got like mange, which is now alopecia. She had mange for so long, it turned into alopecia, which was you lose your hair, you know, in Pulled patches. So we're treating all this stuff. She's got, um, she's got an, uh, an ear infection. She's got all sorts of stuff. So she got problems. Problems. So we have to give her special baths and then special love and everything and special soap and shit for all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, all that stuff. She has like this mousse for her feet because her feet are really bad. She's yeah, man. She came in. Well, Lisa was Lisa has been telling me that um, she was just. I saw a video of her. It was, she was just laying there with like a bunch of other pet bulls. Yeah, they, they were, were in the yard, around. in the dog yard, running around. It was playing. like a, a, a Venice Beach bathroom. <laughs> but they were jumping over her, and she just wanted to lay there and sleep. Like she just wanted to lay down. Exhausted. Yeah, she's old, you know. And they just were jumping all over her and like loud, and we just felt bad. And when I went to get her, like they're all in individual closets, but like the Venice Beach bathroom, it's all concrete, you know. There's nothing, just a water bowl. That's it. Like not a blanket, nothing. And she's so bony that a lot of her, like her haunches, like were getting raw from sitting on the concrete so much. And uh, I feel so bad for her. But I knew she wouldn't be adopted because she's so old. So we went ahead and adopted they her. They want the cute dog. <laughs> well, we need an older dog because we have the rabbits and we don't want a dog that still chases after stuff. And right. so far she's seen like, she hasn't met the rabbits yet because she's still sick. So guy was caught ma making a dog joke, uh -huh. but it was like, um, I don't know, it wasn't that funny. But uh, but then he said too soon, but then it would have been funny if, funnier if he would have rolled. Come on, dog, you should have rolled. All dogs go to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, fool? Yeah, man, she's an old dog. Like she, ain't, you know, like she's done with the chase. Like yeah, and she didn't chase no ice cream it, yeah. man. She ain't gonna chase nobody. She ran bro. into a couple of little dogs on the walk recently. And she just didn't even give them a second look. She didn't care. She looks like they just yanked her, kept on yanking her babies away from her, her whole that life. That too. Huh? She's she had a, a lot of face babies. Of sorrow. Yeah, she does. She looks very mopey, very sad. So, hopefully, we can they, give they her. They took all my babies. A <laughs> good life yeah, for a while. So you took her a bath. She stunk. How you got her? I gave her a bath. When you give her, when you brought her first, she smelled like a dog that, that lived, uh, out, that lived in the streets. She, she stinks. stinks today. She's, she's, she stinks today, <laughs> but she smells twenty percent better than she did wow. last time. But when I picked well, her so up, she, she smelled like a homeless person that you stand next to who's been homeless for a while. You know what you I know mean? What? That, that, that caked urine, on to their, caked like, on smell. The little coats. I, I yeah. think someone knew I was going to get a dog because let me tell you, man. I, didn't talk, I wanted to talk about it last time, but when I got in that fucking lift car, when I was going to acting class. Oh, the, the same way? Smell? Oh, no, nah, nah, <laughs> oh. nah, man. Okay. She smelled like roses, bro. Oh. <laughs> I'm telling that, you, bro. Because really? I felt like you felt last week in your, uh, in your lift ride I on the way back. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. It, that, it wasn't that bad, dog. Oh, it's strong. She's oh, strong. my God, dude. I wish it, it was is, a dog smell. Shit is potent. I know, yeah. It was bad. But nah, bro, I, mean, I was ready for this one. I should have prepared you for that one. <laughs> I, told, I told you that she was going to be there. It's I, just a dog. I, I didn't tell you she dog stunk. Smell. It's my bad. But, um, <laughs> but dude, Don Rodrigo, like man, that, that, bro, it, it smelled like, and I, I hate to say it, describe it this way, it smelled like dirty as vagina <laughs> and shit together, bro, wrapped together in a tamale. Maybe somebody Damn. like stuffed a diaper or something in there, there and he that. didn't know about it or I something. I don't know, man. But it or smelled a like in the back it smelled or like something. good food mixed with pee. 
No. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, whatever your favorite food is, and, you know, and I was giving the guy the benefit of the doubt. I don't want to be, like, stereotype, you know, okay, we're both brown people. has to be one of us, <laughs> right? So I, still, I kept asking him, hey, bro, um, ah, man, how long have you been... How long you been driving today? Oh, no, no, nine, eight hours. He goes, no, like, yeah, no, I asked him, how many people you've had in this car? He said, like, 12. And I said, all right, you get a lot. Oh, man. And I was like, I was trying to get away <laughs> to. trying to do CSI. I was trying to get a way to ask to get to him. <laughs> you know, okay, maybe I, I, I haven't been home in three days. Or, you know, I, I'm, I live in my car. But I, I can't be him. You know, he don't look like the type that was smell like shit in vagina. That's what you think. Nah, man, no way. He was, I know, like, I know B.O., bro. That's not B.O. It smelled like a rotting body, bro. It was Probably bad. the trunk. Yeah, there's something rotting, know. probably. It was bad, dude. Because my mom, my mom didn't run over a cat. No, did my mom run over a cat? I don't know. She she must have hit something one time, and it was all, all over skunk? her bumper. All over her tires, and it stunk. Skunk. But this it's shit was worse, dude. He said, they had a, he said, I had a lot of fat ladies in the car. <laughs> <laughs> one of them was his mom. But I wonder if one of those big old fat ladies doesn't, doesn't wear underwear no more because they don't fit. So she has to be a big old lady like that lady and um, um, was eating Gilbert Grape. Oh. So I'm, not, I'm just saying, if she gonna, she, <laughs> and, and then she just like, she couldn't, she, she doesn't have no underwear on and she sat there with her dress or something and. I think a lady would wear some underwears. <laughs> I don't think it's that. I think it's something that's decomposing in there. If Ooh. you said it smelled like food and some and shit or whatever, Back, dude, like take it a bite right now, <laughs> it's make, it's turning my stomach, man. Back in my pest control days, fool, at a Central Juvenile Hall, there was a speaking of fat ladies, there was a big old fat lady, the director. And she's like, I don't know what this smell is. It's never smelled like this before. <laughs> she had three bananas in a bag that were behind a refrigerator. And that was causing a dead yeah. smell. There's like so a, really? It's always some little thing of and food. The reason like, I found it, because fleas were, flies were coming out yeah, of it. Yeah, it's, it's like, like fermenting. Dude, what are you doing, man? Because if it's fruit or anything, it'll ferment. It'll smell a little bit of like alcohol, kind something of. Something was trapped in a corner underneath the yeah. seat in the trunk. Something. Somebody huh? stuffed something in his seat. Probably did, Is he, he nobody saving knows. stool samples, that fool, or what? Ugh. I don't know, man, but it was. I, I, was, I had to, Oh, man. I went, I, if I was driving longer than I was going, I, I, I felt like getting off. <laughs> I still like I still like so gave that full mind. five stars. <laughs> she gave him a Febreze bottle. I don't know. That's not, not, it would have made it worse, dude. It would have just like it would have been a, a a fresh smell with a decomposing body. I because I I um our neighbor died a long time ago, like Mr. Hyde, when I was living in the projects Pico Aliso, and I was living there with my ex, my son, and um, their mom and their brother, and a man. List, we just started smiling like real, like first shit, you know, like, but then it just got strong, bro. And it was just bad. And his body, he was his decomposing. Body rot, it's decomposing. Yeah. It's brutal, man. They cleaned it up, bro. Little pie, some family moved in, like, no problem, bro. <laughs> Throw some bleach on that shit. <laughs> See, that's a job right there. Like, people say, oh, there's no jobs. We can't find a job. There is jobs, but you gotta fucking be a cleaner. Like, yeah. any person that cleans a, a murder scene, or goes in there after a dirty ass fucking family and a dirty dog shit the whole place. Or, or like, when, remember when uh, I told you that how first house I owned, the main line broke under the toilet. Oh my god! Dude, and that's brutal. We right didn't there. even know until I started smelling some decomposition. Septic. I, I was like, something's dead. There's a rat or something dead. So then. I thought maybe there's something wrong with the plumbing, and I flushed the toilet and I went and looked under the crawl space, just right into the ground under the crawl you space. You had a pool of that, right a there. A pool, mm. it, like right under the toilet, just landed everything. And I for for maybe a week, and I didn't know what to do. I called these plumbers who had worked <laughs> on the house earlier, and I was like, maybe they like cracked the pipe or something. I still Ooh. feel like they did. That wasn't us. That wasn't us. I still feel like they did. But anyway, oh, but we have a recommendation of these people who can help clean up this problem. Who is that cheese in that factory? So these guys show <laughs> up. Us. So these guys show up coming up my driveway. Tongan. They're these Tongan. <laughs> imagine Felipe yeah. with a big old afro, but like six foot five. You don't have five. to imagine. I'm right here. <laughs> Shark stompers. <laughs> Fucking booyah with tribe, bro. hazmat suits on. These Tongan brothers. Still toes. Came in and cleaned that shit up. How'd they they turned the soil how they get in there? I don't the even space? know, man. They no, got they in dug, there. They dug. they dug all that stuff out. They took they took it away, hauled it away, and then they turned the soil. 
And then they put like four fans down there and some deodorizing like crystals or something yeah. over the top. It was. I think I had to air out for like three or four and days. That, that, that's what it was. That's after what that they did. After that, they oh. fixed the pipe. And but they had a recommendation. This plumbing company. Yeah, they recommended. They're not going to go down there and do that. No, I mean, but they, you know, they had somebody else's palm they were greasing, yeah. and I felt like it was a lawyer racket. had no, no, this yeah. uh, chiropractor. This, yeah. This guy says they make you get a special certificate and degrees for. Um, those type of freaking jobs. Yeah, yeah has hazmat, dude. You better have a, some, some sort of certificate. You better have right shit, dude. You can get stuff, infections well, in your lungs. You have to have a certificate dude. for the poison you work yeah. with, don't you? you can't fuck with so that. That's like when Willie hired that paisa, bro, that guy from Home Depot, to just work in the yard. And um, I don't, he just started cutting grass. And then that fool got a bunch of blisters in his both hands, pinch ampollas, right? And then Willie was. Like degrading the guy all the way to save out to buy a lotion, bro. Damn, funny. <laughs> One XWB fucking berating another. I know, but it was funny, WB. right? But he hired, like, you hire a, a someone to do your work and, and he gets infected while whatever it was on his ground. It gave him a lot of ampollas. It probably was a rash, like some poison ivy or something. Maybe he came with it, bro. Because I, I, <laughs> I, I helped that fool clean out his backyard. He gave me 50 bucks. Not even a spot, huh? Not even, dude. See that? I went to the uh, Irvine. No, it was a uh, Ontario Improv. I went to collect fucking signatures for this fool for two days straight. I didn't even get a guest spot, bro. Next time, bro. See you right now, bro. You're at the stage where you're learning, bro. <laughs> oh, he had to give you a, a yeah. whole story with it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's 2003, so you're sitting there all. To, so you were getting uh, <laughs> emails from everybody standing outside, dude. I was walking the mall for emails. Wow. Oh, I thought you were getting emails from, from the people. No, 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 no. Just for, for strangers? other people. To, for, wow. the, for him to get their emails on top of that to coerce them to come to the show. Damn. I put it wait, that Did he pay him you? For a while. No, I didn't get You paid. got nothing. Nothing. Nothing, not even I got to hang out with Willie Barsena. That's what I got. Yeah. But who he... In 2003... story hurts me. In 2003, you don't even know what that means, Lisa. I know, I who know. E I know. But who did he email? Who, e who did he, the email? He, he kept them. Damn. He didn't email nobody, probably. I yet. have no idea if he gave them to the Gina or the kids. I don't know what, what he did with those. Or Richard Chad. <laughs> there you go. Probably Richard. That, uh, a little bit after that's when Richard started working with them. <laughs> hey, but uh, he reminds me of those uh, Mexicans and TJ that are all against the caravan, the Hondurans and all that shit. <laughs> fucked up, dog. Did you see the main one that's against the caravan and TJ? Like the white-looking German Mexican? <laughs> that's what he says. <laughs> well, fucking office job Mexican. What's up with those? Is this they're paid? I think they have nothing better to do. They're poor yeah. people fucking with poorer people. That's it. It'll be a dick to be. It's not the government doing it. Peña Nieto's against all that shit, dog. And those fools are over there giving people that have, like, fucked up feet from walking fucking thousands of miles <laughs> of fucked up time, dog. I know. These people up. acted like these are an armed caravan or something. They right. have no shoes. They were using them, the like, thing uh, invasion. And then the yeah. guy from Vice was telling them, like, oh, what do you mean? Okay, a soft invasion. Yeah. Does an invasion soft require... Invasion. Uh, Artillery, guns. I almost watched that Vice thing. I haven't watched it yet. Watch the quick snippet. Yeah. That's what I watched. On Which one? There's a, it's like the caravan. A, the caravan coming. I forget what it's the invasion. called. Spanish yeah. caravan. Yes, I know you can. Think about it, dude. All those Mexicans talking shit that what Trump's doing over here, and then you're over there doing it, dog. It's like, give me a break, dude. I don't, I don't get it, man. But it's it, only a small group of people. Though. It's well, not like it's everybody. But they highlight it on places like Fox News and stuff, and then it, embol Absolutely. it emboldens the people here who want who don't want this caravan coming. And they say, see, even they don't want them in their country. Yeah, I was a... Uh, you was, know, and so it's like... That's what I was fodder. talking to Matt Fultron when we were in the Toledo. There's a comedian on Instagram. That was, that's all he highlights because he's like a right winger, like mm -hmm. pro Trump guy. He's all, look at these Mexicans. Mm -hmm. That's us mm -hmm. in our own country. I was like, all right, bro. Moving in. Get, dude, who gives a fuck, dog? <sighs> Everybody's a nationalist has to stand for something. Cool. You know those Haitians. I saw a lot of the people. Sorry, I saw a lot of the people that were complaining. Well, some of the protesters looked like cholos that were deported, bro. Uh, that's yeah. what I was gonna say right now too. <laughs> like, like, wearing, like, wearing uh, football like, jerseys. Like, like, they're over there, like fucked up tattoos. They're over there, like against immigrants that are going to trying to get into a place they kick your ass out <laughs> yeah. for being a fucking stupid cholo eh? and they're all mad because they might get in there <laughs> yeah a lot of the people who are against the caravan in mexico were like wait a minute man minute. he's like a damn cholo from whittier right eh? yeah. taking my spot eh? they're taking my spot eh? <laughs> I'm the only one that wants to, wants to sweep restaurants here. Yeah, I have a distant relative that, was, uh, that wasn't that was born in uh, the U.S. He was born in Mexico. He came over here, he was cholo, did a bunch of dirt, and now he's living in TJ. 
your brother probably knows them though <laughs> speaking of does. we are still taking donations for angel uh felipe's brother if you want any send any she, clothes no, no, no or an angel you send him all that clothes that fool thought of swap me in front of the caravan <laughs> <laughs> he'll hustle it tengo los tenis. yeah shoes socks <laughs> Uh, yeah. Double X shirts. I always wondered though, why wasn't there? Why Jacket. isn't there a service, dude? That like, if you can get paisas across the border, right? You like get their hair cut right, not like a paisa cut, like a <laughs> fucked up fade all the way to the top. Some new little clothes, like they, you know, so like a dad entry, because you don't need a. Well, that's like, no, wasn't English. that what Cheech was doing? I watched that show. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I will watch that show, bro. Dude, it's like because you can't you can't come in here looking like you shoot darts out of a straw. You have to blend in more. Like back then, like you like can when, tell. Like when Joe Lopez had that haircut, bro, he, bro. <laughs> Oh like you, you can't come, you can't come, you can't be coming into America wearing a a, C, a fucking Julius Caesar haircut. Eh? Well, if you look look at uh, during George W. Bush, he had his friend Alberto Gonzalez become the Attorney General. If you look, if you gave him a fucked up haircut and dirty shoes, he would look like he was in the caravan. But he's all cleaned up, a nice little suit, hair all fucking jet black dyed. He, he you know he blended into that little. It's kind of like what Cheech did for those guys. So he was teaching them how to be American. When you get to America, your name is Fernando Valenzuela. You got six shots. Yeah, because <laughs> these are OTMs. They're other than Mexicans. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that was the best Go costume. Raiders. We saw those guys. Oh, the, my where? God. Where? West Hollywood, West Hollywood last West years. Hollywood, Santa last Monica. Yeah. These four Asian, four Asian guys were dressed like the, the fucking before. OTMs from Born East LA. It was funny. We, we stopped and we're like, oh, we were like, my, oh my God. God. And they were happy it. we recognized Nobody them, Nobody recognized yeah, what they were. Dude, there were four was Chinese guys or and they Korean. Were like this. And they were walking like exactly like the uh, other than Mexicans from Born East LA. <laughs> and I was like, what oh, the? Oh, Sapphani! Yeah, dude. <laughs> he had the beanie and the guy had the fucking Dodger hat. I love, I love that movie. Uh, Go Raiders, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the, what he told the cop after they popped out of the manhole. He said something funny, dude. Fuck it. Take it easy, eh? Something like that. Yeah, was funny, dude. That's a badass movie, though. But yeah, man, it's crazy, man. I just like, those are like melting pot, like, you know, what's the word? Uh, assimilation uh, techniques. Full. Exactly. On the surface. Mm -hmm. Back, back but in the. Simu assimilation into Chicano culture, yeah. that was. But, so when, the movie, when, yeah. Um, yeah. When for, when um, Ronald Reagan um, let all those let all those Cubans in, you know Fidel Castro, they were everywhere, bro. I didn't know that the Mariana. reason the reason that um, Cubans came to California was because they just had too many in Miami, so they were sending them everywhere. Well, they couldn't do nothing. All the Cubans were established. They had to go up to New York. They had to go to the South. There's a bunch of Cuban families in Riverside. So um, LA? when they when there was well, there was a too many bunch of them over here at one time, right? And there were people against them too being over here. Uh -huh. La Messi and Pichi criminales llegaron. But they yeah. brought them over Your here kids, because yeah. they had too many. Basically, the mayor of Miami, right, yeah. said we have too many, and they tried to find other cities that would take them, and that's where Echo Park got their population of Cubans. Little chunk of people. Yeah, Cuban. I don't even know how many Cubans are left over there anymore. Just that one lady that, <laughs> that that's pissed off at, but that guy that owns that restaurant in um, Glendale, Portos. That's a woman that complains about Obama raising the price of sugar. Yeah. It's funny, every any Latino business that gets successful, everybody says that fool's a thief. He never played his employees. <laughs> he steals. They always he, hate her. Huh? With success comes scrutiny. They never say he gave jobs. Yeah. It's a job creator, don't look at that the way. Yeah. I wish Luis lived closer. He could be on the show more often. <laughs> Fucking Skype him. Mean. <laughs> I could Skype him. So what are you guys doing for Thanksgiving? We're going to Morrow Morrow Bay. Is this a tradition? It not really. Well, well, like we kind of stay away too, from no? family on <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to go to anybody's family, anybody's house. So we uh, go to Morrow Bay. We went there the last couple of years and we kayak and stuff like that. And there's this little apartment we stay in, little condo. Has a full kitchen, so I'll make food there. We watch the Twilight Zone marathon and play games in our pajamas. That's what I'm looking forward to. Crazy. You're off for two weeks in a row for the first time, like since February, maybe. Yeah, man. March. <laughs> I don't think you've had two weeks off. Huh? I do the tofurkey. Yeah, probably the tofurkey. The tofurkey. Or the the Gardein one. I like. Gardein. Yeah. I like that. It has don't. stuffing inside. Bada bing. Oh, what was that? That was a. Leg kick to the stand. Eh? What's Did up, fool? <laughs> he just went back and attempted. Oh, you know what I mean, mean that shit was ready to fall. We're an old radio station now. We have uh, sound effects. <laughs> hey, now. Um, 
The only thing I haven't had as far as Thanksgiving goes, as far as a bird, is a deep fried turkey or a tur- or a turduncan dog. I kind of want to try that. What's up with all these, all these uh, friends? Friendsgiving. Yeah, there's a lot of friendsgiving. What's up with all these friendsgiving? Let me tell you, man. Family dinner. Anybody, dino. anybody inviting me to a friendsgiving means that they don't want to invite me to the regular Thanksgiving yeah. dinner on Thursday. <laughs> Fuck that. That's what you oh, oh, so you're going to invite me for Thanksgiving on a fucking Monday, but not on fucking Thursday where everybody's there? Fuck you. <laughs> I don't, you're not my fucking friend. I'm not going to no fucking Friendsgiving. These are my friends, my colleagues, and another Everybody posted it up, bro. Snapchat. They're having these big, I lavish think it was all yesterday. Thanksgiving yeah. dinners. I think you messed up Saturday. your appetite for the real day, though. I know. Fuck yeah, way. man. You go I home. Think you go home to eat your mom's and now you're real picky, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have fucking champagne. Eh? I don't know. Don't Shelly have, had glazed walnuts. They have no walnuts. Coke bumps. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what? Shelly had gla- glazed walnuts at her well, Someone will get into it. <laughs> She's like a wine. bird. Uh, the first Thanksgiving uh, I went to in New York, I, we didn't know anybody at all. And my ex, he had a, a woman at work who invited us to her thing. She was having a Friendsgiving thing. So we went over there, and it was like Martha Stewart style. She had a pumpkin shell Damn. with pumpkin soup in it, and like it was good. It was super fancy, and I didn't even take the price tag off my two dollar wine that I bought. It, it, it's, <laughs> always, it's, always, it's always hard for me to say this, but I remember man, in third grade we made um, um placemats mm-hmm. out of out of paper mache paper and shit, and I brought it home. And I tried to put it under my under my thing to eat, and my dad ripped it, bro. Oh, Damn. oh, that was so mad, dude! Whoa. I should hit my PD dog. <laughs> oh, <laughs> why did he rip it? it felt like, you know what it felt like, bro? It felt like when um, in Bad Santa, he fucking ate all the all the chocolates out of the fucking calendar, and then, <laughs> and then he put fucking um, cough drops. He was having a bad day, dog. Wow. Uh, was he drunk? No. <laughs> Stone cold sober. Damn. It was. It took There's forever no to make, but we made a bunch. We made a bunch of um, in third grade, we made a bunch, a bunch of um, Thanksgiving um, little um, whatever placemats. Placemats, but it was like um, it was like um, we we uh, I don't know what you do it interwine, weave, weave, mm-hmm. but out of well, paper the up. whole thing, uh-huh. bro, with different colors, turkey on the side, uh-huh. <laughs> brought it home. Took it out, bro. To pour it out and shit, like. Oh, that's so sad. Had everything ready. Que chingado está cabrón con papeles en la mesa. It threw it down. Fucking pipes that didn't know. That's so sad. See, one of those courses would have been good for him, dog. This is a placemat for Thanksgiving. So every Thanksgiving, I have to do a coke bump after that. <laughs> At nine. <laughs> to make you forget I, the place. I knew after that it. moment, <laughs> Thanksgiving is gonna be tough. So I would just get fucked up, bro. <laughs> like I don't know why, but like the like the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, I would get so fucked up that so I could just like be all hungover and I could go anywhere. So when I met you, dude, and you were sober, what would you do those years when you weren't fucking? Because you weren't even up? smoking weed for those no. years. I would go home with Phil's Phil's mom, mom be sad, bro. Oh. Yeah, but back then it was after that. Before that? I don't yeah. remember, bro. I met you in the carry days. Well, one time I went to Mando's house for Thanksgiving. Yeah, that was the year I met you guys. Another time I went to, um, with Joe Diaz and uh, Mike Marilyn maybe Martinez. Had, maybe had more friends Mike at that Ricca, point. Mike Rick Ramos, and Marilyn Martinez. And we fucking David. got annihilated. David, yeah. Oh, you guys called me that day. Mm. Joe Diaz said, time to bring some weed. <laughs> He's an hour away. <laughs> yeah, man. It was, it was fun that day. We, we Oh, another time. I don't know. We, we had a Thanksgiving. My brother Albert was dating this Cuban girl. I don't know. We talked about it last time, but Mm-mm. she was dating a Cuban girl, and they were living over there by by Whitmer Whitmer area over there by um Luke Third and Lucas area where he, where he used to live. And it's sad, bro. It's, it's like the mom she had a she had like she took in um or, uh, fosters. Mm-hmm. Like oh, those people, yeah. She took in fosters yeah. from uh, Juvenile Hall. Foster. They were like these kids, but they were cholos, and they were doing all the work, bro. And she needed money for the holidays. Bro, she, the they, were, they, were these, these, there were so many people like who foster start, kids, she and start, they used them as slaves. She started yeah. homeboy Tiffany. industry, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany went through bro, that. They were these fucking killer-ass cholos, and like they were youngsters, right? But they were cholos, you know? And I'm there with my... Dude, it was like the first time that... um. My whole family was there, except my dad. You know, my mom and dad were not talking, but everybody was there. Angel, Fernando, Juan Carlos, Albert, Marsha, me, 
Rafa, my mom, my brother's girlfriend, um, her mom, and those fucking um, endangered servants, bro. So, <laughs> so, bro, er, yeah, everything was good, but we started noticing because everybody was fat, kind of fat in that family too. They didn't put no salt on anything, bro. What's up with fat people that don't use salt? <laughs> Maybe they had a high blood, blood uh, pressure and they dude, couldn't have salt. But the, what they gonna do with me? <laughs> don't they don't have it in me. the house. That's a salt shake. <laughs> dude, but this is so funny, dude. Like my sister was cl- was trying to like low key clown that house. Yeah, she was trying to low. My sister was trying to low key clown that house. Like everybody was, she was saying like a funny ass comment, bro. She's funny. Get everybody She's funny. laughing. <laughs> then um, Good like my brother's now. girlfriend asked for it. Can you pass me a a. a uh, a loaf bread, a, 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 a dinner roll, please. And my sister, bro, instead of grabbing it with her hand, she stabbed it with her fork. <laughs> Game of Thrones, and then put it on top of the candle, and she goes, Let me warm it up for you, mija. <laughs> How old was she? <laughs> she was warm- my sister was probably 20, man. <laughs> she was old, though. <laughs> she already had kids, and they were there. She had one of them. Yeah. She fucking goes, Be careful, it's hot, <laughs> Blow on it, eh? And then um, one, uh, he goes, um, she, 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 she looked at Albert at this, at this. Do they have salt? Do they have salt shaker? Was it uh, like an American Thanksgiving? Yeah, those things, turkey, every, and turkey stuffing, and everything, potatoes, stuffing, whatever. turkey stuffing, gravy, everything, no rolls. Salt, so no, no salt in the stuffing, no, no salt in anything. Nothing. No, but just the, everything was like it was like bland. bland yeah. Oh my god. So there was no salt and pepper. Fool. I saw my mom. To open out her purse and then she took a lot of pepper trying to sneak you not share it bro <laughs> hey dog if you brought it and there's only enough for you shoot, my mom brought some salad started shaking it <laughs> <laughs> but dude that we're all eating quick. having a good time and this is where that lady made all of us go around and tell us why we're thankful oh my god oh that was what I was gonna say in that oh. New York thing they made us go around and tell them why we're thankful pop quiz and I'm like sitting there trying to think of something stupid. I don't know these people. I don't know anybody's name at this table. I would just friends. Like, I know, like new friends. What am I supposed to say? What did you say? Did you say something? Huh? Did you say something? Well, I said yeah, I just said that I'm, I'm happy we're out here, whatever. But then my mom started doing a long speech, and we were like, <laughs> yeah. in Spanish. Yeah, she goes. She started saying, you know, she a speech a about. You know, she said a speech, bro. Like she, like it sounded more like uh, we were. we were, I would look. I was thinking to myself, did she just try to act like she made all this possible? Because <laughs> she started thanking everybody. She goes, you know, my family we're never together, and I'm glad that everybody's here. And it got it got deeper and deeper. And then it got, <laughs> got real. Then it got into like we, we got close to like Stuart Saber's family, bro. <laughs> My brother and I later on at night, bro, we were laying in bed laughing about that speech. <laughs> <laughs> I felt bad. I didn't feel bad. Either. Give it up for Evan Perone. But we were all there, right? And then they made a bunch of cakes, bro. Strawberry cakes, banana cake, pumpkin pie, apple pie, all made by the Cholos. <laughs> Those foods were right in him. And he, and he goes, hey. I need a knife, babe. Eh? And then everybody was trying, was trying to low-key bag on those cholos too, bro. I like, brought my family with bad, dude. Then I, then I, said, a, I, said, I said a joke. The caravan effect. I said a joke about, uh, I don't know, I said this old joke I used to say. I said, yeah, man, I adopted one of those kids for 12 cents a day. And then, then everybody goes, ooh, bro. Because those guys are orphans, you know, they're fosters too. <laughs> and that was a bad joke to say at the table. But, you know, those guys look back, bro, because like, they heard foster and they were washing dishes, bro. When we're eating cake and having coffee, they were washing dishes. So they didn't get to sit they, they with never, you guys. They and never eat? sat down with us. They, they never ate. How old were they? Like teenagers? S- 14, 16. Oh, that's tough, man. That's, those Better kids than the foster care place, I bet. I'm surprised those kids don't stab them in the middle of the night. I'm sure it's happened. <laughs> you can only push a human so far. Foster man. kids get treated like shit. I was, but I didn't time. know what was going on, man. You know, I was like. I don't know who they were. Nobody said to me, okay, we're going to be guest served here by um, <laughs> they de- delinquents here. They weren't dressed like butlers or anything? <laughs> <laughs> they yeah, just had it, one bow tie yeah, on bro, with their cholo he, he shams a, a, and long he socks. A, he was wearing a, a handkerchief, bro, with a blue one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. But, the, but when they brought the cake, my sister said, like, and I think everybody heard it, I hope this cake has sugar, right, because I don't have no sugar packets and... 
Yeah, and it goes, she kept whispering, oh, that's your cake has fucking sugar, man. The sugar was really what was fucking, fucking them up. The cake was sweet as, not having salt make that cake sweet as fuck, bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. But it was like a crazy event. But that was that was a, a good Thanksgiving. And then, but other Thanksgiving, man, we were at, um, we were at um, my mom's house and my brother, my my wife, no, my my girlfriend was pregnant, Philip's mom. Oh man, she was pregnant, bro. She was big, and she was already a big girl to begin with, bro. <laughs> like some big. How big was she? Ain't <laughs> <nothing> fun. <laughs> <laughs> so I tried to walk around her, I got lost. Anyways, big. Okay. Nah, I didn't like a big. They just didn't show up. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's the way they showed up. <laughs> That's the way they landed on my lap. So if they land on your lap, you got to take wow. them, huh? <laughs> she broke that femur in three places. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways. So she was big. You're chilling. She was pregnant. She's pregnant, bro. Like, okay, as yeah. fuck. Yeah, and then, like, I'm, like, fresh out of rehab. I don't know how to react how to How can shit. she be that pregnant? Philip was born on July 1st. Exactly. <laughs> so we're going to get to that, right? <laughs> so we're, we're at the... Dinner table, right? Everybody's there, bro. She's only three months pregnant. <laughs> she was that big. <laughs> Wait a minute. She was big. <laughs> <laughs> You're acting like my brother before I punched him, eh? <laughs> you all celebrated more with the black guy, eh? It's not domestic violence. Huh? I had a flashback. So, so we're at the dinner table, <laughs> right? I uh, know. I think the, the the kid was born already, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not I don't sure. Remember. Okay, okay. Uh, no, the kid was born. Okay, the, so three months Phillip, after he was Phillip born. Was already born. Okay, so she was baby weight. Right. Okay, baby weight. Whatever. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we're like chilling, right? My brother's sitting right here, right? My brother Fernando. I got my brother Angel over here, feening, you know. Trying to ask people for money or do <laughs> just look at what you could borrow. And everybody's there, we're all chilling. And my dad's in the corner, whatever, right? I'm looking at his ass, right? Thinking about my placemat. <laughs> for the 15th year in a row. <laughs> They're looking at him, man, like. Well, I was just looking at him because my mom brought it, my mom, actually, my mom actually brought up placemats, bro. <laughs> and I felt like tearing that mat. Just to, <laughs> if people could ask me, why did you fucking tear that mat? Cause this piece of shit right here. Well, anyway, so we're sitting down. Let it out, dog. We're sitting down, man. And then we're eating and shit. And then um, my mom goes, oh, what part of the turkey you want? I take a little leg, little breast. And then um, she, she looked over at my, my, my son's mom. What part of the turkey does she want? And my brother said, all of it. Eh? <laughs> Everybody died, bro. Everybody was laughing. <laughs> you know, like, 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 like fucking um, James got no feeling when he came out of the hospital and everybody was laughing and he didn't get it. Like, he was just eyeballing everybody in slow motion, bro. <laughs> and I said, that's funny. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Fool. I fucking, I fucking punched my brother in the fucking face right? real fast. <laughs> so fast. All you heard was. <laughs> and then like the, his face got red and tears came out, bro. <laughs> and then my dad didn't see it, right? Uh, my, my dad picked up his plate and slammed it. Chingado! <laughs> and, and I said, um, let's just go, man, <laughs> before I fuck everybody up in here. <laughs> and then, like, and then Philip's mom didn't, um, she made it worse, bro. Like, we haven't ate. <laughs> Shut up about the food. <laughs> when she said, we haven't ate, it felt like when that guy, Spalulo, whatever his name was, and Goodfellas showed up with his fucking girlfriend with that white fur coat, yeah. and then he, and then and then and then, and then Robert De Niro looks at him, hey, what the fuck? And then he pushes her out the door like, get the fuck out of here. He starts taking that fucking so coat I, off. on the way out. Get the fuck out! Of here. I just said, let's just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> but when I, when I, but when, I, when that fool said we, we are, when she said uh, we have an eight, both of us started laughing again. <laughs> Of course, how can you not? All right, fool. You told me the this brother, story. I know you were laughing with fucking a little bit of blood. Ah. All right, fool, you protected her honor, all right? 
think what a gentleman will do, but you gotta like give those fools credit, dog. That shit's funny as fuck. I know, dog. man. He told me that. When That's I, when this shit happens to you. It's not that funny, but you gotta take them how you give them, dog. He told me that story when I first met him. Oh, I and heard this I, story th- I said, That's so funny. That's hysterical. And he was like, I know. He said, I know it's funny, but you know, when you're with me, like, I have your back or whatever. <laughs> but she didn't even know you had her back. She didn't even, she was oblivious to it, right? Still don't know. <laughs> Damn, dog. Imagine the laughs you guys could have had if it were like uh, just sitting there on the floor, dog. Building up an appetite to eat because you fucking wore yourself out fucking cackling. That's funny, man. <laughs> but it's okay, bro. I had a good laugh after we broke up. <laughs> and, um, With him? No, I, no, I had a bro- we broke up and um, shit went. We, we, life moved on, bro. And right. then my brother had kids. And then it was my, 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 my fucking niece's birthday, bro. I, um, Dana, she was turning four or five, and then my little brother, oh my god, dude, he's been practicing. My brother was like the fat kid, bro, from Bad Santa, bro. <laughs> that motherfucker was pract- practicing. <sighs> it's a small world. It's bro. a wonderful it's world. It's a wonderful world by um, what's his name? Louis Armstrong. I see flowers in the spring. Clouds of blue. Oh my god! <laughs> so my little brother was practicing, but we didn't know why. We don't know why. I thought he was just practicing, you know. The and then I just kept going up, you know. Like I wasn't. I, I don't even know if I was living there, but I was like, I was, I was like, I was, I was living alone back then already. So I was like, I went to the party and I didn't know what's going on, but um, fool, that fool breaks up the whole party and says he wants to sing her that song in front of everybody, dog. <laughs> fool. I'm try it out at home first. Let me tell you, man. My sister. I saw my sister run in the house <laughs> laughing, bro. Trying the first to hide one, it from Oh, her. my God. She was <laughs> dying, bro. And I, and I couldn't stop laughing, too, bro. Dude. I was laughing extra hard, bro. Ah! <laughs> Did he finish the song? Fuck no, bro. He started crying. Damn, bro. <laughs> Did he see but Mark? we all cried. I was, saw cry- I was crying, too, bro. Show I couldn't get I was embarrassed for his dad. Show business ain't easy, Ooh, dog. The whole... Oh, in front of your it family. was funny, dude, because everybody went in there except um, my brother's girlfriend at the time's family, bro. Why? Your mom left too? Oh, my God. So they didn't stick around to hear him sing it. Oh, that's so sad. You can't my, pretend? No. <laughs> I'm not even going to hear it. I'm out. You can't even pretend for your son. But oh it was, it was like they, they played they play the song and it's like... <laughs> It's static and then the mic, like, he didn't, he didn't practice on the microphone, you know? So, like, hey, I see flowers in the spring. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I would have laughed if it was like that, too, though. Probably not as uh-huh. funny as Thanksgiving, but. <laughs> Fuck it, at least he tried, dog. That's funny. Yeah, Thanksgiving, man. man. Every year. That's his placement story. That's, that that's his placement story when he tells his Thanksgiving story. That's it. Was it Thanksgiving? Yeah, it was, no, it was a birthday a party. A birthday party, yeah. Man. Oh, my God, I couldn't stop laughing. That was hurtful, bro. It was painful to watch. <laughs> it felt like part of my limb was on fire, bro. Damn. But the way my sister ran in, because she also, she ran in, she was crying, but crying because she felt bad. But also laughing real loud because she thought it was ridiculous. She couldn't believe it. It was, it was like my sister was full of emotions, bro. He probably got that idea from some TV show or something, you know, to cool. do that. Like, you know, like a sitcom and ends in a happy ending, you know, and somebody a sings Disney a song probably. or something. And he probably saw that and wanted to recreate it. Unhappy endings, man. And you guys were not playing along. You're the family that didn't go for that. Yeah, man. My... my it's funny, like, no it, happy I'm surprised that I started doing stand up comedy because I'm pretty sure I, if I would have told them, I probably would have done it, bro. It's <laughs> <laughs> something I had to do alone. Yeah. I, I told my dad, I go, Pa que cabrón, no es pa ti, no es negro, no es chico. <laughs> but yeah, man, that was hard, all that. Uh, it's a wonderful life song. It's a wonderful world. It's a wonderful world. It's like the little fat fool on coming to America. She's yeah. your queen. <laughs> <laughs> he would look like him too if he dressed up. Like oh him. my god! My brother Angel was right there, bro. Probably all cracked out. He was doing this on the side, like. <laughs> I feel funny, dog. 
funny. I'll fucking die if I seen that shit, dog. He I goes, would add to that shit, dog. He goes, he, 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 he. My brother cracked out. He goes, he, he, is he trying to beat Neil Armstrong? Neil but Armstrong. nobody got that joke either, bro. <laughs> so you should funny, be up there man. singing with him, man. <laughs> yeah, that was E, man. He never tried to sing again, or what the fuck? I have no idea, but he went to cupcakes after that. <laughs> oh, that's right. He turned to cupcakes. <laughs> Cannot hear that album. That's painful, bro, but that's more like... He's the one who didn't go to alcohol and drugs. He went to cupcakes. Yeah, man. To drown his sorrows. <laughs> anything, anything that ever happens in your house where like, they laughed at your whole... Everybody laughed at your brother? No, nah, just me. Like, <coughs> that one time I told you that uh, the mouse came over for the first time, and that fool played him that fucking red hot tape. But that's it. That's about it, man. Just laughing at each other and shit. Have you seen your brother in a while? I seen him two weeks ago. Oh, okay. I'm home at dad's house. Does he live there still? Yeah. I'll oh. be seeing him on Thursday. Living with mom and dad still. That fool said, please make it as far as a family <laughs> roast. I would love to have Marsha on one time, but I don't know what she'd... I don't know if she'd feel as comfortable. But that shit was funny, man. She'd be that, funny, man. Man, that was a crazy Thanksgiving. <laughs> I think you reminded her of that story and she didn't remember it, oh. Marsha. Because it was, I don't know. I think she didn't remember like running away or something like that. And she was like, huh? And you had to re refresh her memory. And she's like, oh, yeah, I kind of remember that. So it was something that you something had that you stuck see, in. You yeah, see that, that you like saw. Pivotal for you. Like, yeah. that's like a fucking movie that's replayed. And when you're doing that act or whatever, you don't remember. <laughs> yeah. There's fools that tell me about shit. Even Martin told me about some shit. I was like, what? Well, I don't remember that shit, dog. Yeah. I do not remember. But then I remember vividly other things, mostly other things. So you left a, um, you left a print in that person's life. Mm -hmm. with that that yeah. shit was funny, man. Right. An impression, so, Who the fuck wants a, a stab for and somebody ever used? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, fool? You ever help your, you were like, I, I don't like going into like um, Thanksgiving I like to get there early sometimes, you know, but I don't really like helping. <laughs> if they need help with anything, I'll help. I'm not. I'll, I'll help. Whatever. Now I help. You avoid help. Well, I, with, at your family's house. I help house. with cleanup now. At your family's house, you don't help at all. I help with cleanup, bro, <laughs> at our house. We haven't had a fam. We haven't been to your family. I don't have any family here, but you don't. Ha you haven't been to a family thing in six years, I think. Since the uh, fun. Since the Dodgers incident. Incident. Since the Dodgers' birthday incident. Yeah, my fucking um, new. <laughs> it's a wonderful world. Didn't want to. Didn't get invited to a fucking. Uh, didn't get invited to a baseball game. Oh, the Dodger game. Yeah, and then yeah. he talked shit to me, and then I said, "You're an idiot," and I lose my number. I don't want to ever talk to you again. Because <laughs> he's talking shit to me, and he said, "I hope I'm invited to the wedding." Still, you didn't invite me to this, and you know what? He didn't. He wasn't invited to the wedding. <laughs> Fuck you. And then ever since then, then his other brother jumped into it with me. Like, I don't even know why you're here. This doesn't involve you. It Get out now. of this. Uh -huh. Get out of this. And then Felipe's like, fine, we're never going over there again. <laughs> so we just hang out with, like, Fernando sometimes and his mom sometimes and Marcia sometimes and, us, and Albert sometimes. That's I, will drop, I will drop in my, I'll drop in my mom's house out of the blue, like, like if we're in the area or... I remember one time I just went there with Vinny and Ivan and Rodrigo Torres. We would Torres. always dip in there. And they would always make us food. We would we bring food. We ate good one time, man. <laughs> but but look, they had a barbecue the day before, so there were so many leftovers. Uh, beans, a handful of tamales. tamales. We would bring food. We'd there would bring be a food. couple two liters, a half of a pie, mm -hmm. shit like that. Just make a little fucking feast. But my mom, one, one time, we, we had fish. She had a bunch <laughs> of fish that was already cooked, so she oh, refried it. And we had carne, we had leftover carne asada. We had a, actually, we had a surf and turf. We had carne asada, <laughs> fish. It was ceviche there? A ceviche. No place, Mats. Yeah, the other brother got so self righteous, I just couldn't. Oh, and my other brother, bro, fucking, <laughs> uh, fucking Raider Rahim. A <laughs> fall harvest. Dude, to my the brother, great harvest. My brother, Ajo, is so fucked up that he will call my other brother um, Raider Rahim because of. Um, do the right thing. Remember Raider Rahim? Yeah. Get choked out of my brother he just died last year. My, did, my brother had yeah. My brother had a radio loud and my brother had the same commando haircut the one time. <laughs> That's we got Radio Rahim right here, Ray. <laughs> my brother would get mad, bro. Because he was darker than all of dark, us. Yeah. Complexion. Pichi Prieto. So you were adopted. Eh? <laughs> well, that fool got all 
self righteous one time talking about uh, we're having we're going to have a well they're going to have a Thanksgiving dinner at somebody's house his house but he didn't say Thanksgiving now because they took one one course of Chicano study <laughs> and he's decolonizing now he's, he's decolonized now <laughs> and living in Pasadena and shit <laughs> The motherfucker said, we're going to have the great harvest dinner. <clears throat> and I'm like, oh, I, don't, I don't think I want to go to that. Eh? Plymouth Rock style or what? Yeah, I don't want to reminisce my placemat. Eh? So. <laughs> my great harvest placemat. <laughs> I got an A on it. It was a masterpiece. <laughs> Did you tell your dad I got a fucking A on this? A check and an A. You never talked to that fool about that? Like, check why and an A. <laughs> For what, dog? He was, he was, he was, I got a check plus on that. Sweet Cassandra, remember? <laughs> That's the problem. Well, see, I was going to say that when I was getting there. When you (laughs) when you were saying that when something's pivotal for somebody like that, they remember everything about it. And then other people don't remember that situation. They were there, too. But when you confront a parent about something that is something that you've dealt with for years and held on to for years and you finally bring it up to your parent and they say, I don't remember. Miss Huckabee. And it's like, motherfucker, this has been in my head for 25 years. And I'm finally confronting you about it. And you don't remember? Or my mom, well, you know, I'm sorry. I picked the wrong dad for you guys. Or whatever. She'd give excuses. It made her look good. (laughs) (laughs) It's a really good one. (laughs) I picked the wrong guy to to be your dad or whatever to have kids with. That only works if you're the stepdad, bro. (laughs) Yeah, I know. You fucked the wrong guy without protection. But anyway... But it, she would, she would, uh, she wouldn't remember. Your mom said the same thing when you talked to her about that other stuff that became your joke. That thing you talked, you confronted her about, it and she was like, "I don't remember." And that is the worst pain when they don't remember it, you know? Because then you realize, "Fuck, I held on to this shit for all this, You're all these years." You're driving yourself crazy for nothing. You are, but how can you not when it hits you so emotionally during that moment, you know? And it's not resolved in the, at the time. Oh, it is frustrating. Man. It's like it, it's like it invalidates all it, your feelings for all those years. It's funny, now I'm thinking about it, man, about the place, man, and like it's just when bad stuff happened to my dad, and, and I didn't give a fuck. I guess that's why, bro. <laughs> it's because yeah. of that place, man. Cause, cause time, there was like a shootout or a big fight, <laughs> and my dad ran. Bro, like, everybody runs to go see the cheese man, like to see what's going on. <coughs> but my dad, he, my dad thought he was slick, bro. He had bought these shoes at a, at a yard sale because they were nice color, but they were bowling shoes. <laughs> but he, they're not wear, they're not known they're not, not to wear them everywhere, bro. There's no they're, traction. There's, there's no, no traction. He didn't know, bro. Mo- everybody out. ran, dude. It was a little bit of wet floor, motherfucker. Over the line, he yelled out. That fool <laughs> fell, bro. <laughs> That was for that place, and, and you didn't feel bad. Hell no, nah, man. That, Me, my, I told my bro, I was, I was there laughing, bro. <laughs> I was laughing, bro, like, um, it's a wonderful world. <laughs> you should have brought that fool out to sing a song. Se cayó. <laughs> Straight se resbaló, right? Straight slip. Se cayó el wey, pichi puto. Damn. Uh, yeah, I'm over it. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do, dog? I want you to make placemats for this holiday. Fuck that. <laughs> Well, uh. I don't need a place, Matt. <laughs> I put I put plates on my lap now. <laughs> Warm plates. All right, let's wrap it up. <coughs> How long has it been? Oh, um, an hour and something, five minutes. It flew by. You know, it's funny, man. Like, so we went to a th- we went to a, a Christmas one time at my mom's house, and then my mom was acting like Miguel Felix Gallardo. Of the fucking nar- the Mexican narcos, like um, she she put she pretty much my mom should have a cocaine scale right there, bro, for the fucking masa. Like she knew they were too heavy or there was too much meat, she go start all over again. Like they all had to be a certain place. Like she had a, like a little system going. Remember well, she put yeah, because the first time I who have little ass tamales, bro. I know I like a lot of masa. I yeah. like a big fat tamale. I don't care about the filling, but I like a lot of masa. But she's we're. It's like a, pr- a factory, like a, an assembly line, right? So we're all sitting there doing it. And after each one that I made, she comes over and picks it up. Tan pesado. Tan pesado. Too heavy. Tan pesado. Too heavy. And then she'll send it back to the front of the line <laughs> to get scraped out. And then eventually I got pushed out of the line, out of the assembly line. 
but it was they were too but she made little tiny ones though like the ones that they sell at wiener schnitzel and they they advertise that was so those so gross little tiny cigar looking ones yeah man like your mom scamps on that stuff i know man <laughs> like i was watching um, some people make tamales and um i guess my mom now I know. Now I know why they added so much stuff. Cause I guess we were not that rich, so you can't put that much meat. So my mom would put meat, fucking potatoes, jalapenos, sometimes carrots, bro. I'm like, you just put meat. Eh? Don't fuck. <laughs> don't fuck up. Put no carrots in there. Don't put no. And you know what? Too started out plant based back then, though. Stop with a fucking olive with a seed inside, man. With the seed in there? Yeah, my mom would put the olive with the seed, dude. Yeah, that, that kind of sucks. <laughs> Dude. What? Say it, dog. <laughs> Martin Rizzo and his lady are, were selling um, pumpkin spice tamales, bro. Pumpkin pie tamales. Pumpkin pie tamales. That's, enough! He's from Joe Deal, enough for the pumpkin pie tamales. Bro, that's a 2018 tamale lady, cocksucker. <laughs> it was weird. It's weird looking. Uh, who would want to put ice cream on that shit? Well, I would it. feel like if you mix the pumpkin with the masa, it's too wet to actually get firm like a tamale, you know? I would think. There's, already, wrong. there's already pumpkin pie. Right. Well, that too. <laughs> with a yummy crust. Got a, bit, got a bit artsy, didn't she? I don't think I like sweet tamales. I think that's my problem. Because I had the pineapple ones uh, at one the time. The ones with the raisin and, like, and them and stuff. Felipe uh, was yeah. talking about a chile relleno. What's it called? Uh... Oh, uh, it was a chili. In, in, uh, in was, Ogado or something like that. No, in, it had, uh, and it's part of Mexico now. It's very trendy. Ivan's mom the, made it. Oh, my God. <coughs> the oh, white the, cream. Uh, yeah. Um, and, a pom- and a pomegranate seeds. I mean. They're seasonal. They're I've, all right. Ivan's uh, mom made a tamal, bro, with uh, pomegranate seeds inside, and it had like a like a little um, almond thing over it, bro. Yeah. A cream. Like, yeah. They didn't like it. Anymore. Yeah, it's all right. It's seasonal. They're, they're real popular in Mexico. <coughs> the best tamales I ever had is that Big Dog's house, fool. Willie Barcena? Yeah, the mom put rajas and cheese in there. The mom, her, her tamale are good. Oh, shit, they, actually, they were really good. I had like 20 of them one time. I like, God <laughs> damn, bro. And I was like, they're good, dog. I'm sorry, bro. Oh, and Joe Diaz got mad, bro, but he didn't bring no tamales. <laughs> Where's the tamales at? I'm sorry, bro. You know, we handed them out. <laughs> what do you want me to do, dog? Fucking my mom only makes so many. She only makes like two pots and that's it, dog. People, yeah, people, gone, t- people gone. say that the uh, tamale lady are good, but the tamale lady skims too, bro. Yeah, but the tamale lady, well, you know what? The street tamales, what I've noticed, they use a lot of the fatty meat. A lot of like, mm-hmm. it's not really like, th- they're really good because they're fat. They're, you know, they taste real good because of the fat, but it's not the best cuts of meat. Well, I watched it with um, Anthony Bourdain um, episode. I think they were either in, in Cuba or some other Latino country. And bro, they really like the tamales, tamales old school way. Like they they use the fat. Of, they they were doing they were cooking the meat. Well, they put it and over. There was so much fat. Wet. Oh yeah, they so they're much wet. meat and fat. They use that water and <laughs> pork grease yeah. up for the tamale mixture, bro. The, the Cubans do it like that. Yeah. A lot of Caribbean uh, people do it. And uh, Oaxaqueños are kind of like that again. I never used to like them, but I tasted them in Mexico like th- uh, three years ago in the restaurant. Lisa likes those actually. They're what? good. The, w- the banana wrap tamales. Yeah, but I don't eat that with the lard in it. No, not stuff, the lard, but, yeah. but you like the ones. No, I, well, I kind of do, but I think I prefer the one with the corn husk. I like the drier. And then the, s- the Salvadorian the tamales are kind of similar to those Oaxaqueño yeah, ones. Yeah, like they're okay. I did like them for a while, but I think I really prefer the Mexican style. My first tamale are the ones you eat three days later and you fry them. Fry them. What? With coffee the next with the, morning? With the corn oh husk, God. Yeah, yeah, man. Oh, you, you fry that tamale, bro? <laughs> a little cup of coffee, dip a little champorrado. I like the little crispy Sour edges, cream. Yeah. Sa- That's probably the only time I'll eat tamales with beans when I fry them, bro. That's a good mix right there. Hell yeah. Oh, that's what we were, ta- we were going to say. In, um, in uh, some little ass town in Mexico, in like a hipster hipster area of Mexico, a bunch of like rich wow, like Mexican hipsters. Fresas? They're eating, Fresas. um, yeah, ch- chipsters. It's a big thing now to put a, it's called a torta tamal. They get a regular torta, like a torta bread. They open it up and they put a whole tamal inside with beans and all that. That's so much bread. But that's just, you know what? <clears throat> if, if you're at two in the morning <laughs> sure. and you're, you're fucking buzzed and you want to eat something warm and something delicious that's going to help fill your mouth with a bunch of flavors, that's the fucking torta <laughs> I want. A torta tamal with a, yeah. That's like that Czechoslovakian thing we saw on Anthony Bourdain's show. And it's a that bread. was the fucking goodest thing I ever saw in my <laughs> life. Thing. He probably paid a dollar for it. Yeah, it was that bread. It was like late night food and a big old like cheese 
fried, fried cheese mozzarella cheese steak probably covered in bread it was just like a ball of fried cheese breaded and he put it on a with it a this street, mustard bro. on a bread and then they smashed it like and it's like ranchy mayonnaise dressing oh my God, that dude was he opened so it good. up it, he, it was like a patty of cheese yeah and he they just put in a bread he bit it bro and then uh, the cheese came down he said this is <laughs> you know, this is all i live for yeah you know, this the morning a beer yeah fuck yeah dude it was like street food it looked so good What's up, fool? I give this show an A plus. <laughs> if I could give her, if I could give this show higher than an A plus, I will give it a higher than an A plus. Thanksgiving. What's up, fool? <clears throat> Everybody, happy Thanksgiving. Listen, man, I know a lot of, if you're a comedian and if you're a person who lives in Los Angeles, San Bernardino, anybody, anywhere, 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 and you have nowhere to go, nowhere to eat, and you want to go go to a p- cool place to hang out on, hang out at. And if you're a podcast listener looking for something fun to do, go to the Laugh Factory on Thanksgiving. There's going to be like four shows, and they feed everybody, bro. There's Thanksgiving dinner. You're going to see Dane Cook. He's back by the breast. And (laughs) Thanksgiving, pumpkin pie, free dinner for everybody. Yeah, free dinner. Comedy show. A lot of legends show up, like Kevin Nealon. It's, it's um, some some homeless show up, but it's not just for the homeless. It's not just it's homeless, for the man. Hollywood community. Yeah. Yeah. The Hollywood man. Everybody. If you're willing to stand in line outside the Laugh Factory, also man, if you want to volunteer <laughs> with and just help, come on down, man, and just look for Jamie Masada, <laughs> and tell him you want to sing a song. He'll say nobody. Get in the back of the line. So everybody, man, thank you very much, man. I'm thankful for all our listeners who've been with us in the beginning. Uh, shout out to the guy right here, Kamaka Kamakili, whatever your name is. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Ian. Omar Gonzalez. Um, this guy right here, dead something. Juan Vargas. Read him, Lisa. Juan Vargas is a regular. Uh, Alex DeLarge didn't show up tonight. And Jermaine. Mario showed up. Yeah, Germism or whatever his name is on here. And shout out to those people that came from Toronto to, to Buffalo to see me. There's somebody on from Germany watching. I can't remember. Auf Wiedersehen. He checked in earlier. I can't see his name anymore. Are we going to see all these comments later? No, huh? You can watch them later. Okay, good. I want to see You just got to go to the chat. You got to replay live chat and it'll play it. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Mexico. Thanksgiving, everybody. Or like my brother <laughs> says, great harvest. <laughs> Make memories, people. It's a happy <laughs> Thanksgiving. Be nice fights. to people and be appreciative <laughs> of everybody. And if your son made an art project, don't, don't rip it, man. It's it, it, it just not a good You'll thing. You'll turn him into a coke addict. You, you'll be a coke addict and a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I let that shit out. <coughs> I know, that's a tough one for 